Hey, Anonymous Caller, how are you? Hey. You want to share a secret with me and Mayno? Yes. Okay, we're listening. So I have nine children. Um, by different fathers. I only know who three of their fathers are. Mm. You don't yeah. know who three of the fathers are? That's what you said? I only know she who only knows three of the fathers. So all nine children have nine different fathers. I would think... So three have the same father. So three of the kids have the same father, but six of them have different fathers? Yes. Okay, so um, is, this is a secret. No one knows this? No. So who do people think the other um, six children, who the father is? Whoever I tell them. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, so what? You, okay. But how do you, just a question, not, not me not judging. No, she needs to be judged and judged harshly. Because all she's doing is setting her children up to fail because they don't have any type of stable male figure in their life. And with a mother like her, they're already starting 10 steps behind with little to no chance of even catching up in life. And really, this is also a way to separate yourself as a man. Because if you're the kind of guy who will lay down with a woman like that and go raw dog Jamal, it also says a lot about you. Because reckless men who haven't made any investment into their future, therefore they don't have anything to lose, make poor decisions. Thrown Yay! off a frontier flight. Kick her off. Uh, <laughs> we can't hear it! Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Yo! I got the lady the real a few moments later Oh my god Yo <laughs> Why they carrying her? Listen, you get on the plane acting a damn fool, you're going to be up out of there real quick. Nobody's entitled to being able to fly. It's pretty much a privilege that can be taken away if you don't know how to act. And the commentary at the end is pretty wild because they almost make it seem like they did not just previously record the entire altercation where this woman is pretty much riled up and ready to fight a fully grown man. And then what? You think she's going to go silently into the night and just walk off with the police officers? No. She was not cooperating. She was acting unruly and they had to remove her because she was a danger to those who were on the flight. Listen, I'll tell you one thing. It's a good thing that no fly list doesn't have a cap because it seems like by each passing day, it's getting longer and longer. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha <laughs> gotcha i don't know what it really is about today but too often people like to invade other people's space under the guise of it being a prank listen you gotta choose who you play a prank on wisely because if you pick the wrong one you're gonna be going home with a two-piece combo no fries no biscuit Damn! Put your glasses back on. How did your friend get so hammered? You guys giving her alcohol in there. How many drinks did you pay for in the club? Zero. We never pay. We're girls. So we have to do our job, you know. And then we just get the alcohol. And what happens if the guy wants more? One of us is going to say, stop it. 
we don't want you, and then they leave. Hey, the fact of the matter is, she is not telling any lies. She knows that she doesn't have to show with any money. She could just focus her energy on making sure she looks good. That's where all her funds go, into that outfit. Because she know by the time she gets to the club, it's gonna be a handful of guys who are gonna be more than happy to buy her whatever drink she wants, and pretty much probably whatever else all because they think they got a shot. Only to realize by the end of the night that she gonna leave with her thirst quenched and his wallet empty. Why isn't there equity for ugly people? Should the government provide them plastic surgery? <laughs> Absolutely not, that's crazy. <laughs> um, there's no equity for unattractive, I'm not gonna use the word ugly, uh, because attractiveness is, like I said, it's a depreciating asset in the realm of life. And I think happiness and the success of your life, it really means nothing. It's an asset. It's like having a nice car. But are you going to have a better life because you have a n nice car? Absolutely not. And if you misuse it, it can actually make your life worse. She's making some pretty good points. But an attractive woman knows that she can use her beauty to get access to things. Otherwise, she would not. Be able to whether that could be something as simple as getting out of a speeding ticket with an officer who finds her attractive or being able to get into a club or having some simp pay her rent so while her attractiveness may be a depreciating asset in the words of the great philosopher known as 50 cent if your appearance is your largest asset you're gonna do some whole shit. hot girl summer will turn into pregnant girl winter which will turn into um single mother spring This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. Young man, wise words, he's going far. One thing I hate about myself is that I will get obsessed with a guy who does not like me. And this guy does not like me. And realistically, like, if I'm being honest with myself, I don't like him that much. Like... He hardly gives me conversation, and when we talk, it's really so surface level. But now he's all I think about, and it's really f annoying because I could never see us together. That would l just never work. So I just I hate it here. Yeah, this is something else. Either this guy genuinely doesn't like her, or he's using the old "give the pretty girl no attention" routine until she just can't resist you gets him every time. Next thing you know, she'll be flying out or driving over to come see him by weeks in, and he'll be taking her to pound town to dig, decimate, dismantle, and destroy her guts. What would you rate your Riz on a scale of one to 10? Shit, a 10, 10 out of 10, son. A 10? All right, I'm gonna mic you up and we're gonna see, okay? Okay, babe, babe. Excuse me, excuse me, I got one question. What's your jersey? Are you talking about like football jersey? Not like your name and your number. Oh, hey, that was slick though. I'm not gonna lie, I just, I wanna introduce myself. What's your name? Tyra. Tyra, nice to meet you, what's your name? Sabrina, gosh, so two pretty best friends. That's what I'm getting from. How old are you? 24. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, age ain't nothing but a number though. I'm not gonna lie. No. <laughs> no. Let me grab your number then. <laughs> Where would y'all rate the Riz though? If I was going to a girl that's my age, and, and we got we got the manicure going on too. I mean, they shining too. What's up? So we. Age, I can a nine. 8.5. Hey, hey, we gonna work for the point five. Hey, appreciate y'all. You have a great night though. Oh, Fellas out there. Know how to take rejection. You're not going to get it all the time. Shawty wasn't my age. That's just what it was. But I still got a nine though, ain't it? <laughs> w Riz, not going to lie. Respectable Riz. Bro, I got that confidence. Riz of Oz. Hey, if you haven't figured this part out by now, you miss all the shots that you never take. This is why you shouldn't assume anything about any particular group of people, especially based off of social media. Get out there and actually live life. Take chances. Go after what you want. If you get rejected or turned down, so what? you'll live to go on another day. It's not always something wrong with them or you just because you get turned down and rejected. Take it on the chin and keep going. But this next clip definitely didn't go how she planned. What would you rate your Riz on a scale of one to 10? Um, I'd probably say an eight. So you think you could get a guy's number right now? Yeah. All right, let's see. I gotta find a guy that's alone. Hey, 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 hi, hi, what's your name? I'm Matt. Matt, I'm Sydney, nice to meet Sydney, you. Sydney, nice to meet you. Can I get your phone number? No, probably not. Why not? Hey, it's the drop of her jaw that tells you everything you need to know. She did not see that one coming. And men and women are just different because this is something that men deal with pretty much on a daily basis. And this is something that women really have to ever encounter when it comes to getting rejected. I mean, for most guys out there, it's kind of like baseball. If you're averaging 300 with your wrist, you're not doing too bad and you're headed to the Hall of Fame. You're a feminist doing 
hands. That's empowering. Yet you're relying on creepy, disgusting men who think you are disgusting and trash to ironically pay your bills, which is probably the most degrading thing in the entire world. Whereas actually, if you were in an office, it would be a lot less degrading. You could actually have respect in an office. And do not get offended when you come into the dating pool and dating world and you are seen as a low value woman. In my eyes, you are. In every man's eyes, you are. And uh, don't get offended when people don't want to marry you, don't want you to be their girlfriend. You're going to hit the real world eventually. Um, it's just a amount of time. And no one with any level of like a brain would ever respect someone who does that. There's a lot to impact. I there. don't go on the Internet and expect people not to judge me. You cannot be a worker and expect people not to judge you. I agree with that. So just don't complain about the outcome. Go get your bag. Yes. And then deal with no one thinking that you're a valuable human and also bringing just shame to your family name as well. Hey, listen, she was definitely on one right there. And only thing I'm going to push back on was her thought process when it came to the men who consume that content. While there is a segment of men out there who consume that type of content, who if they view it as disgusting, but still will consume it just because of... Uh, whatever you want to say, a primal nature or whatever. A larger segment of men are men who are just thirsty and desperate for any kind of attention from a woman, even if it's attention they're paying $10.99 a month for. This is when you have those cases where you have an OnlyFans model talking about how one of their subscribers sent them 10 k paid their rent for six months or something just outrageously absurd like that. What happens if you see me? You um, swipe left, I got swipe suspended. Right, this voice. I, on, with that voice, I'm 100% swiping left. The People are very upset with this TikToker for editing this girl's answers. So this TikToker did a street interview with this girl, and during the interview, he asked her what her body count was. Now, the girl said her body count was one, and she was with her fiancé at the time, and her fiancé is the only person she's apparently been with. So the street interviewer had asked her questions earlier, and when he asked if her body count was above 10, she said, I don't know. Well, the girl was getting a ton of backlash for this and she ended up making a video and apparently the street interviewer edited the video to make her look bad. Apparently he asked her a different question to which she answered I don't know and then edited the video to where it looks like she said I don't know when she was asked if her body count was above 10. Now since all this happened the street interviewer has turned off his comments but what do y'all think of this? This is an example right here of why a father needs to be in the home. Now that's how it's done. Pops came in here like, I'm going to tell you once, and I ain't going to tell you again. And that balance is needed. And that young boy is going to continue to grow, and his testosterone is going to continue to increase, and he's going to have to continue to understand what that, how to control those emotions, how to control himself, and having his father around to show him how to be a man versus social media, TV, and outside negative influences will always be a better choice. I surprised my husband with NFL tickets. Baltimore, ain't nobody out there. Look at this. These players on that coach bus right there. Hey, I was about to say, look, there's two people walking. Nobody out here in this cold. No He knew nothing as we drove past the stadium. Look at all them parking spaces. They gonna show up. I bought these tickets in the summer. Lamar didn't play. We survived and got that W. Coldest I ever been in my entire life. Hey, you find someone who cares enough about you that they make it a priority to want to see you happy, they're probably a keeper. Anyway, guys, questions, comments, and feedback, always drop them down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to continue watching more content, and you already know. Until next time.